What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Cats, Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free, free will. Only take the messages that resonate with your rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, type Priestess Row 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. It's very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to, do to donate. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, okay, so I know it's 11.32 p.m. on 8-16-2022, but honestly, I heard Aquarius, and then I felt guided to do Aquarius's reading. So, I, to be honest with you, I went to go get an ice cream cone from McDonald's, which if I'm going to go get any kind of frozen treat, I usually get the kind bars at Walmart because they're healthier for you. But I hardly ever get real ice cream is what I'm saying. I get frozen yogurt or I get the kind bars. But for some reason, I felt an urge to go get a vanilla ice cream cone from McDonald's. So I did. So, and buddy, I ate that whole thing. I need to slow down. I'm going to be 500 pounds, but I haven't had one in a very long time. But my point is, it was right after that. I got back, loved on my kitties. I heard Aquarius. I mean, I'm here. So I'm just saying, um, I guess there's a reason I am doing your reading, Aquarius. Um, whoever, she, I mean, it's, it's divinely guided to happen. So we're here. I was going to do sign readings tomorrow. But we're doing Aquarius tonight, so just saying, just saying. Okay. Spirit messages do you have for a sign of Aquarius? I haven't received any channeling yet, um, but if I do, I'll let you know. Queen of Wands reversed. Spirit messages. Hold on a second. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Spirit messages do you have for Aquarius? Or for our players. The lovers. The hermit. Okay. And a hard keep it. Okay. So for some, you can be dealing with a, um, a Libra, a Taurus, a Gemini, or a Virgo, or an Aries Leo Sag. Uh, possibly. That's a, what we have on the board. So Libra, Taurus, Gemini, Virgo, or Aries Leo Sag. Don't get caught up on the signs, but possibly. If you are, they can have any of those in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Midhand, or Jupiter charts, if you are. But you got Queen of Wands reversed with the Empress reversed and the Lovers upright um, and the Hermit upright. Ooh, that's not good. Just saying. An Aquarius is about to finally cut off a third party. For one, they're legally married. For one, this is a mistress. For one, they're not. They're causing way too much drama in their life, way too much. Air sign energy, fire sign energy, water sign energy. Okay, so, okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. So, third party energy. Um, this, this is your third party. All of this is your third party, actually. All of it is. Um, I mean, lovers upright, yeah, you're loving it, loving it, doing it, doing it, doing it long, long time. Love you a long time, probably, with this person. But I heard it's causing way too much drama. Um, and they're coming up. I think this is the same person, your third party. Um, as the Empress reversed and the Queen of Wands reverse, so no, des um, no desire, drive, and motivation towards you, Aquarius, or towards themselves, maybe with self-love, um, possibly, you plug it in how it resonates, and the Empress reverse, so I don't think they're giving loving and kind towards children or giving loving and kind towards themselves. Um, for some, I feel this could be drug use. Um, because, you know, Empress, um, Empress, uh, Empress Upright is self-love towards themselves. 
or self-love towards others, self-love towards themselves and others. It could indicate pregnancy and children and a mother or not. If they're not a mother, they're just like a giving, loving, kind, motherly energy. But when they're reversed, they're very selfish. They're very selfish and greedy. And in selfish and greedy could indicate drug use is what I'm saying. Um, is what I'm saying. So I didn't hear drug use, but I feel for some of you guys, maybe they are drug users. Possibly. Possibly. Only you know this, not anybody else. But they're coming up as the Queen of Wands reversed and the Empress reversed. It's the same energy I'm feeling. Because all three of these came out with your third party. Um, so I think they're good in bed is what I'm trying to say. I think they're good in bed. I absolutely think they're good in bed. Um, for one, they are a mistress, meaning you finance them. Like a, um, what's it called? A, um, uh, what is it called? Um, I learned this term at the first nursing home I worked at. Um, I've used it on here before. I can't remember, but, um, a sugar, sugar, sugar daddy. You could be sugar daddy or sugar mama to them. Um, but you financing them. So you could be their sugar daddy or sugar mama is what I'm saying. Um, that's mistress energy. Yeah. So you financing them or for some of you guys, it's not. So for some, you are like a sugar daddy, sugar mama energy to them. For some, you're not. So for some, you finance them. For so for, And for some, you don't. But I do feel for some, they might be drug users. Um. Or just unable to take care of themselves or unwilling to take care of themselves. How that resonates and applies, Aquarius. Um, but for some, you're legally married. For some, you're not. And you're just going to cut them off. Um, for some, you don't have a third party. They're very codependent. Okay, so for some, you are legally married. For some, you're not. And it's third party energy, right? For some, it's not third-party energy, so it's just you and just them in a, re a relationship or dating or fiancé or what have you, what have you, and you're going to cut them off. So they're, they're codependent, they expect you to take care of them, or they're unwilling to take care of themselves, unstable, ungrounded. I mean, yikes, just saying, just saying. Um, anybody in the Empress Reverse and the Queen of Wands Reverse energy? Um, is that's not a good energy. I feel for some, they could be prostitutes and I didn't hear they were, but they might be only, you know, your story and situation, not anybody else, but you've got the hermit upright over here. So I think you have already, some of you, well, according to the channel, some of you have already gone within self-care, um, go within and self-reflected over the situation. That's why you're about to cut them off. Whether you're in a legally married, legally binding marriage contract, or you're not, and it's a third-party situation, or it's just you and this person, you're about to cut them off. you already gone within, self-care, and self-reflected. Um, I do feel, if it's not drug use, it could be alcoholism, or some kind of devilish, devilish toxicity energy here that's causing them to be very codependent on you. Um, that's terrible energy. That's terrible. Let me see if I hear anything else. This is terrible energy. I would hate for my energy to be the Queen of Wands reversed with the Empress reversed. I heard um, fire sign energy, water sign energy, and air sign energy. So it's a lot of you guys I'm drawing in here. I feel you can be masculine or femme. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. But so, and there's at least three of you guys in here because there's three situations. So you're dealing with a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And their sun, moon, rising, Venus, World, Feminine, Hammer, and Jupiter charts. But I will tell you, they're definitely good in bed. you got lovers upright. And you know it, because you slept with them. Um, how this resonates. Oh, my Lord. Three of Pentacles. For one of you, one of these people is about to free willingly admit themselves to a mental health uh, mental health hospital soon. 
Okay, so for one of you Aquariuses, one of these people is going to free willingly admit themselves to a mental health um, institution soon. So you plug it in how it resonates, you guys. That's for one of you guys, um, for one of these people, whether it's the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the Aries, Leo, Sag, or the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Three of Pentacles upright, three of Wands reverse, two of Wands upright. King of Pentacles reversed. A very lucrative business contract is about to come towards an Aquarius soon. A serious decision needs to be made soon. Multi-million dollar deal. Holy shit, man. Okay, Aquarius. Um, if this resonates for you, one of you guys, I heard it's a multi-million dollar deal. So, I mean, you ain't no broke, Joe. That's the damn truth. Or you're about not to be. Um, a very lucrative deal about coming towards you soon. So, it hasn't come towards you. It hasn't came towards you yet. It's about to. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm assuming you want to work with whoever has this very lucrative deal coming towards you. I'm presuming um it sounds very lucrative um but it hasn't come towards you yet i heard a multi-million dollar deal very good people to work with you know this intuitively very good people to work with you know this intuitively so whoever these people and i heard people so it's two or two plus people um, I think they are prominent in your community or someone else's community or their good collaboration or teamwork um, or collaborative type people to connect with in other areas, possibly. Um, somehow they're coming towards you for this collaborative multi-million dollar deal and they haven't done it yet. So there's a reason they're coming towards you to collaborate with you with this multi-million dollar deal. So you provide some kind of business service or services to them. For this multi-million dollar deal whoever you are first i didn't hear what kind of business service or services you provide to them but but i mean you have to you logically you would have to provide some kind of business service or services to them for them to come towards you with this multi-million dollar deal and i'm just being for real whoever you are but i heard be very smart to work with these people so i think they're um i think they're going to provide you connections in other areas or they're in your area, and it's good to network and branch out. How that resonates? Teamwork with these people. I heard people, so two or two plus people. It hasn't happened yet. No action yet. It hasn't happened yet. Decision needs to be made. So, and that's I'm assuming obviously after they come towards you with this multi million dollar deal. Okay. A Sagittarius will be very upset about this deal. They will not be a part of it. A Sagittarius will be very upset about this deal. They will not be a part of it. That's what I heard. So you plug it in how it uh, resonates, Aquarius. Um, Sag energy. It can be masculine or feminine sides. You have to plug this Sag into your own particular life situation how, and story how they fit if they do. But I heard a side just going to be very upset about this deal. They're not going to be a part of it. So I don't know if you're going to intentionally leave the side out of this deal. Or they just missed the boat and they wasn't able to be a part of the deal. Or what have you, what have you. It can be a masculine or feminine side. Um, they can have side in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine energy for charts. But I feel for some of you guys, they are a business partner of yours. Or they are a co-worker of yours. Or something of that nature. Um, cause this is business all over the place. Um, how that resonates and applies. Okay. Let's do one more. Um, 
the Six of Pentacles reverse. An Aquarius is about to find out that someone paid their their fee, the whole fee, in full. It's about to shock them and impress impress them. They're about to find this out soon. You know this person was hard pressed. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, whoever you are, Aquarius. Um, you can be masculine or feminine Aquarius. You, um, any aspects of Aquarius in your chart. But I heard um, soon you're about to find out someone. And I didn't hear who the someone is. It could be masculine or fem. But I heard you're about to. Uh, you haven't found it out yet. But soon you're about to. So I don't know if you're going to go looking for this. To see if they, pay, they paid their fee in full. Um, yet, or if it just comes across your desk or comes across your information or what have you, what have you, but you haven't found it out yet, but it sounds like you're about to now, whether you go searching for this information or it just comes to you, but someone that was hard pressed financially, it sounds like, um, either currently in the energetic space or in the past, um, I heard they paid their fee in full and I heard you're about to find this out and it's about to shock you and impress you. So, um, how that resonates and applies in your life, Aquarius. Um, for one, you're going to pay it forward to them. For one, you're not. For one, you're going to pay it forward to them, and for one, you're not. So, for one, you're going to pay it forward to the person. It sounds like they were in financial straits in the past, or they are now, but it sounds like they, they um, paid their fee. Um, it sounds like to you. It sounds like they owed you some kind of fee. Um, it could be a small fee or a large fee, but however that resonates, I heard they paid it in full. It's about to shock you and impress you, but for one, you're going to pay it forward to this person. It sounds like after you find all this out, because you haven't found it out yet, but for one, you're not. So, you know, of course, you only, you know the actions you're going to take, and only you know how you plug into this situation, not anybody else. You plug it in how it resonates, Aquarius. Um, kudos to the one going to pay it forward. I just say because um, I feel we need more of that in the universe. Now, I don't feel we should be taken advantage of. I don't feel we should be taken advantage of by any stretch of the imagination. But paying it forward is good karma in the universe. Um, and that's just the truth. It is. It's, it's good karma. Six of Pentacles reverse, Queen of Cups reverse, Nine of Pentacles reverse. A Pisces feminine is about to experience huge money loss all over the place. All over the place. For one, their ex is going is about to take them to the court of law to fight for custody of, for one of one child, for one of two and two plus children. They they will win. For one, it's child support adjustments. For one, it's bad investments. For one, it's illegal business. Oh, my God. So, you plug it in, how it resonates, um, Aquarius. Um, I heard Pisces spin. Um, they got Pisces in any aspect of your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, or so many energy of your chart. You plug it in, how it resonates. 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. So, at least four Pisces spins in the universe. You have to plug these people in, how they resonate, Aquarius. 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. So at least four, it might be more in the universe. I heard 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. So I feel one at least is in their 30s, one's in their 40s, one's in their 50s, one's in their 60s. Um, they can have Pisces in any aspects of their chart. They're feminine energy. Um, but, and there's several situations in here. One, their um, ex is about to take them, I heard, to the court of law to fight for custody, some of one child, some of two or two plus children i heard they will win they will win um so i mean yikes um been there done that i'm just saying it's not fun 
it's not fun. But um, that's for one. For one, there's going to be some kind of child support adjustment. So it sounds like the child's father, um, this is a fem in here. So child's father or fathers is going to take them to the court of law to some kind of child support adjustment. Or, well, I don't know. Um, well, yeah, because... Yeah, because my, my ex took me for a modification for child support adjustment, and that was through the court of law. Um, it actually, like, we just didn't go up to the child support adjustment, child support thing, and just get it done. No, it was through the actual court system. So, yeah. Um, so, that's for one. One, the um, child's father or fathers are going to win custody. One, they want the child support adjusted. Uh, and then one of these people, they were in some kind of illegal business in the past. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Yikes. They're Pisces femme. They could be in their 30s, 40s, 50s, or 60s. You plug it in how it resonates. One is going to have abuse allegations brought on them very soon. And it's not going to go well for them. It's going to shock the hell out of one of you. You are dating this person. Okay, I heard one of them is about to have abuse allegations brought upon them. Um, I heard it's not going to go well for them. For one, you were dating this person. Um, some uh, Evidence. Evidence is what I heard. Evidence. Some kind of evidence. So. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. This is terrible. So we have the Six of Pentacles reverse with the Nine of Pentacles reverse and the Queen of Cups reverse. So this is that Pisces Fem energy, ungiving, unloving, unkind. Um, Nine of Pentacles money loss. I mean, huge money loss. Ten of Pentacles reverse is like bankruptcy. Six of Pentacles reverse says give or take money aspect. So um, they could be hoarding money or hiding money or just, um, or maybe not. I'm not sure. But the six pentacles reversed with the nine of pentacles reversed is a lot of money loss. I'll tell you that. Ungiving, unloving, unkind. Um, that could be the abuse allegations with the evidence, possibly. You plug it in, how it resonates. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. Also, this could be legal fees, possibly. Um, when they have to lawyer up, that could be the legal fees included in all this. And trust me, legal fees are very expensive if you if you don't get a public defender. And that's just the truth. Um, I don't know if this person's going to get a private lawyer or a public lawyer, public defender. But if they do a uh, private lawyer, it is very expensive. And that's just the truth. Um, but I heard for one, the one that's about to get... Um, Accused of these abuse allegations with the um, uh, evidence, you for one, you're dating this person, or you did date this person. So, do you plug in how it resonates? Let me get you an oracle card and then we'll um, close it. An Aquarius is about to find out a Libra, Libra feminine has been lying to them for a long time. They're about to find this out and they're about to release this person from their life. Okay. God, Aquarius. Okay. Um, so, well, and you have release. So, number 24, 27 could be very significant numbers and growth. Number 5, 24, 27, 5. We have growth, release, and protection. I heard for one of you guys, you're about to find out a Libra fem has been lying to you for a very long time. And I heard once you find this out, you're about to release them from your life. So you're about to block their, block your energy, block them from your life. Whatever this lie is, it's been going on a very, very, very long time. So much so, you're about to block them out of your life. I mean, it's pretty serious, whatever it is. Protection.
An Aquarius is highly protected. And for one, you're about to really highly protect another person. For one, it's a child. For one, it's two, two plus children. For one, it's uh, an adult. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So, um, for one of you guys, you're highly protected. I feel that could be spiritual protection, or that could be law protection, or that could be legal protection, like copyright or trademark or um, or a patent or something of that nature. Um, or it could be um, spiritual protection, or like I said, or a law. Maybe the law. Maybe you are the law. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, that's for some. For some of you guys, um, I heard you're about to protect um, yourself uh, from person, people, place, or situation. For some, it's another adult from person, people, place, or situation. For some, it's one child from person, person, people, place, or situation. For some, it's two or two plus children. So it sounds like something's about to occur in the universe that you're going to have to protect yourself, another adult, or one or two or two plus children. Um, whatever this is, I didn't hear what it was. You have to plug it in, how it resonates. For some of you guys, I feel this is going to be kind of big, um, possibly domestic abuse, um, domestic um, violence or assault or um, or something of that nature. It might be legal, possibly for some. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Let me see if I hear anything else. I didn't release a very significant report is about to come in to the police. On inappropriate children streaming it's about to benefit you and someone you care about in a huge way a very significant report okay so the report hasn't come in yet but it sounds like it's about to heard it's about to come into the police um it's for some you could be the police possibly or not but how that resonates is about to come into the police soon i heard um inappropriate children streaming um naked bodies naked bodies naked bodies so inappropriate streaming of children and it sounds like they're streaming children's naked bodies it sounds like for some kind of underground pedophile ring um i didn't hear that that's just my deductive logic and reasoning but i heard it's going to seriously help you and another person it is about to blow something all to hell and go in your you and this other person's favor in a huge way Things are about to start going fast, 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 fast. Okay, I heard it's going to blow um, blow something all to hell. But whatever it's about to blow to hell, it's about to benefit you and another person. So it's about to go in your favor. Wheel of Fortune's about to go in your favor, you and another person's favor. And somehow protection, um, protection of the kids, protection of the situation. Um, I think maybe for some you've been fighting something or you're about to fight something or help somebody fight something. For some, you could be the police in this, protecting the poor kids. Um, I heard um, streaming kids' naked bodies. So it sounds like some kind of underground pedophile ring um, using illegal voyeur cameras and dark webcam energy, to be honest. Uh, but however this resonates, I heard it's about to blow a situation all to hell. Um, but it's about, but when it blows the situation all to hell, like a tower moment, it's going to be a positive tower moment for you and another person. So somehow you and another person are work collaborating together or about to collaborate together um, or already collaborating together. And somehow this tip or this streaming video or picture or whatever this is of this poor naked kid or kids streaming i think information on the streaming dark web streaming of these poor naked kid or kids is about to help you in a huge way and it's about to protect you and this these kids or you it's you and another adult and then these kid or kids 
It's about to blow a situation all to hell. So power moment, positive power moment for you and this other adult and these kids to protect the kids. Hashtag save the kids. And I'm just being serious. Release. A hotel receipt is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life. A hotel receipt is about to become very significant in an Aquarius's life. So, um, release. A hotel receipt is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life. Um, I think, here's what I think. I think you're about to use this as evidence, and I didn't hear you were. But I feel you are, because we got the release card. I think you're about to release somebody. And I think this hotel receipt is about to prove they were in a hotel with somebody else. Is what I think. Or you're about to piece it together to use it to prove they were in a hotel with somebody else. I feel a fair energy. I feel cheating energy. I didn't hear any of that. I just kind of feel it intuitively with the release and that channel. But you plug it in how it resonates. But somehow, whether it's um, cheating, cheating or not, um, Piecing the pieces together to prove infidelity or not, you are releasing something and a hotel receipt is significant. Um, or it's about to become significant in your life. So you plug it in how it resonates, okay? Growth. Someone is finally about to get their inheritance back through many series of chain of events, a feminine energy. It has been stolen from her for many years. You're about to see huge changes to her home, her life, and her kids in very positive ways. So you plug it in how it resonates, Aquarius. Okay, so it's not you that's about to get this um, inheritance back. It's somebody else. Is a feminine energy, and I heard it's been stolen from her for many years. So it's been withheld from her and stolen from her for many years, but through many series of chain events, she's about to get it back. Now, I don't know if you're going to help her get it back, or you're just going to witness her getting it back. I'm not sure, only you know this, not anybody else. But however that resonates, I heard you're about to see huge changes in her, her home, her life, and her kids. Positive changes. So growth. Um, once she gets this money, she's about to put it towards very positive things. That's what I'm trying to say. Her to herself, her home, her kids. Um, I mean, all the things that matter, basically. All the things that matter. Herself, her home, and her kids. Um, it could go towards education. It also could go towards investments. I mean, it really all depends on whatever she is going to put it towards. But what I'm saying is I don't think she... She's not going to spend it on illicit drugs. She's not going to spend it on partying. She's not going to spend it on the club. She, I don't feel she's into that kind of thing. She most certainly is not. Not at all. And you know this. She most certainly is not. Not at all. And you know this. So you know this person. It is a person of your present or of your past. And you know she's not into partying and the club and shooting up meth in her veins or between her toes or snorting up coke or what have you, what have you. You know she's not into any of that. And she's basically going to use it on positive stuff. Things that can improve her and her children's lives. I'm feeling investment, stocks and bonds. I'm feeling um, education for her and her kids. I'm feeling... Um, uh, 
um, trust funds. I'm feeling um, uh, home improvements, renovations. I mean, beautiful things. Um, camps and clubs and maybe private school. I mean, if she can afford all that, it depends on how much the um, inheritance is. But, I mean, if it's cash, but, or money, rather, money. But um, you plug it in, how it resonates. But whoever this feminine energy is, she's not into partying and drama and clubs and wazzy, wazzy, wazzy. She's into the important things that matter in life, basically. So you could be happy for her or you could not be happy for her. But whoever she is, she has her head on straight, I'll tell you that. Okay? All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful night and namaste. I hope this helped. If you think anyone else will like my channel, please feel free to share it very publicly on social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. Love you guys so much and namaste.